2 years and 9 months ago. Exactly 1005 days back. I was waiting in Chennai airport for boarding my flight to Bangalore to join Lisa the next day. I was scared and confused. I know Visa is full of IITians and NITians, whereas I am from an I university. Can I compete with them? Visa is full of intelligent people. Will they figure out that I am not intelligent and throw me out of Visa? Who were Visa hired from Anna University or 9 pointers whereas I didn't even have 8.5 CGPA? Will they say, I didn't even hire you and ask me to get out? Even if none of these things happen, am I following my passion? This is what really I wanted to do in my life. All these questions kept boggling my mind. I was asking all these questions to my best friend. My dear Toastmasters and guests, how many of you here follow your passion? How many of you here follow your passion right from your school days? How many of you still wonder what your passion is? <laughs> People like me belong to the third category. Our life is influenced by the society. There are a lot of people who come and go in our life. They may be a passing cloud, but still they will give us free advice. When I was seven, I was happily playing cricket in the street with my friends. One of my neighbors told me, Nami, you are passionate about cricket. Your bowling action exactly looks like Lasit Malinga. <laughs> you will become a great cricketer one day. That was not even a legitimate bowling action. I was just running, stopping and then throwing the ball like this. Second incident happened when I was in my school. One of my distant uncle came to me and said, Namit, your eyebrows look exactly like Jawaharlal Nehru. You will become Prime Minister of India one day. At least we can forget <coughs> these two incidents. The third incident happened recently, last week when I went to Chennai for a marriage. One random guy came to me and said, Sir, your nose is very sharp. You will have a great career as a politician. Why did you come into politics? I guess that guy must belong to some party who is still searching for nomination candidates even when the election has started. <laughs> These might sound like exaggeration, but the reality is that's how much our society is interested in our well-being. The world, including our parents and our neighbors, are interested in influencing our life decisions in order to make our life simpler. But the reality is, we will get scared and confused. That was one such day in my life. I was scared and confused and I was asking a lot of questions to my best friend in the airport. When these situations come in my life, there is only one person whom I can trust and who will understand my feelings, my best friend. He realized I'm scared about this society. Instead, I'm just simply giving passion as a reason to get rid of a new life which is awaiting for me in Pisa. He asked me, Now meet. If you don't want to be a software engineer, why did you choose computer science and engineering? I was really surprised by the question. I was staring at him. After my 10th standard, when I had the option of choosing biology or computer science, he is the one who told me, now Meet, you suck at drawings. Biology is full of drawings. Better choose computer science. At least you have some scope of passing the exam. After my 12th, when my entire well wishers in the world is saying, Now Meet, who will take computer science or IT after scoring 97%? Take biotechnology or fashion technology. You will have a great scope in America. Even then, he is the guy who told me, take computer science and engineering. It is the easiest of all subjects. You can enjoy your college life. <laughs> now, the same person is questioning, questioning me. Why did I take computer science and engineering? I was staring at him. 
few moments of silence prevailed. He knew I am waiting for his advice for my next step in my life. He told me, Namit, you have a lot of passion in your life. When you are a kid, you are passionate about doing mischievous things by cheating your mother. When you are in school, you are passionate about making India a great country. When you are down in typhoid, you are passionate about finding ways to live more than 100 years. You are passionate about cricket, you are passionate about impressing people, you are passionate about saying no to work, you are passionate about teaching people about WAMIS syndrome, you are passionate about getting beyond limits, you are passionate about dating slash marrying a software engineer, and now you are passionate about finding what is the next step in your life. Please remember, there may be people who say, I see something in you. They are all big liars. They just confuse you. You are not scared about the society. You are not scared about your passion. You are just confused about what the society will think when you fail in the next step in your life. Do you think the people who live happily in this world are the ones who follow their passion? I bet you, go ask anyone in this world about what their passion is. You are not going to get an warm, compelling answer. It doesn't mean they are not living a happy life. It doesn't mean their life is not interesting or ambitious. It doesn't mean they are not worth living. Passion is not a job or a sport or a hobby. Passion is the focus and the energy which you give on things that is right in front of you. If you wait for your passion to arrive, you might end up missing things that is right in front of you, which may change your entire life. Stop following your passion. Accept what it is in front of you. If you want to write a book, if you want to travel around the world, if you want to explore things, start right now. If you keep waiting for your passion to arrive, you might end up in the same place for a long time. Accept what it is in front of you. Tears started rolling down my eyes for having such a wonderful friend in my life. My best friend. My heart. My heart, which helps me in making right choices. My heart, which keeps me motivating. My heart, which allows to forgive myself and forgive others. My heart, which tells me to wait patiently until the right time comes. My heart, which takes me to the true desires. I followed my best friend once again in my life. And right now, I am standing in front of you as software engineer in Lisa. My dear Toastmasters and guests, there may be time in your life when your life will be full of miseries. There may be time in your life when you don't know what you do next in your life. There may be time in your life where the entire world might hate you, including your parents. Please remember, there is one person in this world whom you can trust. Your best friend. Talk to him. He will show you what your passion is. He will show you what to do next. Follow your best friend.